So if I was a stranger or tourist in town and I say, what's Turtle Bay good for? What, why should I come to Turtle Bay? What, what would your answer be? Um, family, friendly, fun, relaxed. It's basically uh, as the beach should be. We don't try to be too over the top on um, uh, rules and regulations and things like that. It's uh, all about relaxing, kicking back and enjoying yourself. And if you're coming with the family, we've got the fun base. They'll try and look mm -hmm. after your children so you can get to read a book, which you don't often do with children. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I like that. So what would you attribute your, how many, 18 years of success to? I would put a larger part of that down onto the, the team I've got around me. I mean, it's you're the general manager. You actually do very little a lot of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're basically just um, bouncing off uh, what the, the team are doing. And I think it's having a strong team and a bunch of people who you can rely on and they can rely on you to have their back. Mm. And it's, um, I think too often managers uh, don't get given Credit. enough rope to um, make mistakes. Because you've got to make mistakes in order to get better. But some people are a bit hard on mistakes and I think you've got to allow people to make mistakes in order to then say, I made a mistake there, how can I do it better? Yeah. And I think that's a big part of it. And I think it's, no, it's down to creating and uh, fostering a good team. Mm, I like that. And how do you handle feedback that's not necessarily positive? Painfully. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you've got you've got to live with that. And I mean, particularly now, I think a lot of hotels will be struggling in that we've, we've not, for example, had a, any opportunity to spend money on our rooms and our public areas and stuff. So we're all, we're all hurting a bit because we want to do that. But you just got to say, we understand. If you have a problem with it, we'd, we would rather learn from it, understand your problem, and it's something we can work on and improve on, then we need to do that. So it's Im hugely important to take any feedback positively, even though it hurts. Yeah, <laughs> so, even though it hurts. I, I mean, like your that. teachers at school used to sometimes <laughs> give you the kiboko, but you would have to, you have to learn from what they were saying. And, and as an adult and as a someone in charge of people, you just have to really make the biggest effort mm. to make to turn the negative into a positive. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that hurts, but it's got to be done. It has to be done. And actually, customers appreciate feedback yeah. as opposed to being ignored. Oh, absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. So and they want to give feedback, you know. And, and Kenyan, Kenyan customers are very quick to give feedback. Mm -hmm. You find a lot of overseas people, the silent complainer, they mm -hmm. call them, will go away, say nothing, but then write a stinker of a report, not having given you any chance to Self-correct. Yeah, and, and so and you... You almost then feel, well, why didn't you tell me at the time? And uh, mm. but no, the Kenyans are very strong on giving feedback at the time yeah. and often very fair. Yeah, no, it's true. Have you had any accolades all that time from uh, uh, commendations, accolades, anything? Uh, yeah, well, we've had, when we were, we used to get various Silver Star awards yes. for various things and we a lot of, because um, we do a lot of eco work, we, um, we recycle 100% of our water, we do composting. It's one of the community projects we used to do was, was uh, composting and then creating, um, doing nurseries for local guys to take plants out. Mm. So our eco uh, work used to get us a lot of um, a lot of brownie yeah. points in the in the eco world, <laughs> and we were brownie we were gold points. gold uh, rated as an eco. We were the first coastal large hotel to be gold rated under the eco rating. So, um, but we put a lot of time into it. I mean, a lot of time and a lot of investment, but it pays dividends because even just water recycling it's, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah it's a big investment initially but it's it's well worth doing it is and people are, i think the customer is not getting more discerning about the environment right. and then things like climate change i mean it's all in the same family and so you f the same way now we're 100 oh, 100 percent. I, yeah. I think uh, people are looking and saying what is the impact of this place what is the footprint and yes. uh, particularly in this country i mm. mean we're very we're very eco aware here more so than I'd say in a lot of Europe, the, the people are genuinely understand what's going on mm. and want to make a difference. Mm. They want to see what they've got spoiled. Like, <laughs> like that. What do you do to unwind? I know it's such a blunt question because you're, you're unwind every day, don't you? Absolutely, I never get wound up, so I don't need to unwind <laughs> <laughs> living here. <laughs> No, I mean, what do I do to unwind? I, I jump on my bike and I just go off into the into the bush, and I, that's that's what I love doing. Um, I used to play more rigorous sports. I play hockey. We have a little hockey group that plays hockey here twice a week. Okay. I, uh, I try to stay away from the bar, but I often fail. Um, <laughs> but no, we, we've got a. Having been here for quite a long time, I've got a very good little 
it's quite a nice circle of friends and um, yeah uh, it's it's a, as you said there's so many things you can do to unwind yeah in the area but um, and without spending a lot of money 